Hey yo pretty people, my name is Lake Pint. welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. Friends, in the previous episode we have created this, ow my ankles, <laughs> amazing uh, miniature, well not miniature, but okay, a, sh a ship, a, a smaller vessel for us to roam the seas of the overworld and also to house our little nether portal. So, in this one I actually have a, quite a surprise for you. This. This surprise is the main reason why the previous episode was actually in the, in the old world and not in the nether. And that surprise has to do with our ship. You see, I have trapped in the bottom, in the belly of our original nether super vessel, a live and very much name tagged ghast. And up until this point, I had no idea what to do with this. Uh, yeah, you see? The, Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Sark! So... I'm guessing this is the Die King. Because no one else pretty much knows where my base is. And... Uh, judging by how vibrant and colorful this is... Yep, yeah, he probably figured out where his dice went. Mm. Like, this is the worst timing possible because I actually have a... See? See the dangly bits? <laughs> I wanted this episode to be about us moving our new ghast to a ship so it can, like, make pretend flying crap. And he just had to make it about himself, didn't he? <laughs> Son of a die. <laughs> that... Sassafras! <laughs> ah, no one's ever by beside me. Even the. <laughs> I, I apologize if my reaction seems to be any bit. Ahem. <clears throat> All over the place. I can. You can probably tell why. <laughs> <laughs> this is commitment right here, guys. This is some legit resource gathering went into this. <laughs> he went... <laughs> Did he actually... He swapped! I thought he just covered my my original sales. He actually swapped the blocks for them. That... That... Uh, wow! <laughs> That's just... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah! It's... It's not how you... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh my god, I need to yawn because my brain is running out of oxygen right now. Because <laughs> if, if I would do this, I would just cover the original ones. I wouldn't actually swap them block by block. But he went out of his way to make this like as legit as possible. And truth be told, yeah, the sales are still too small. So, this will be basically my excuse to kind of cover them up. Well, not cover them up, but uh, remove them and rebuild them from scratch. Making the new black ones even bigger, way bigger, and actually fit in size for the ship. But even then, I might leave this for quite a while. Just hanging in here for now, because uh, I... yeah. Because it's 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 kind of it kind of deserves to hang here. <laughs> he even swapped the back skull for a giant Hello Kitty. Well, that's what just mean. Like, why the two? Look, man, seriously, just why? Why? Oh, there's a there's a book. Die Watchers <laughs> and a ghast here. <laughs> nee. Let's go check out what he has to say for himself. Dear pirate, 
I hear you are calling yourself a king these days. If you're going to be a king, you're going to need a much more regal looking ship. Being the kind ruler I am, I decided to help you out. You jerk. Even though I don't support your claim. Okay. Next time, maybe don't criticize someone for trying to run an honest business while you claim the entire sky as your own. Hey! It it had like it didn't have anyone else's name on it, so I, I get the the, the, the the bidding rights. Much love and color, the die king, aka sick. P.S. Your poop deck seems to be missing something I think that that's <laughs> Well, that explains it. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I'm I'm yet to figure out. I I can't quite tell you what to do with him now that I have this uh, had this kind of figured out. I don't quite know how to bring him back yet. But oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, but the, the vengeance shall be mine, and yeah, there, there, there shall be much vengeance, I promise. Woo! Okay, 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 I'm... Let me, let me qu quickly grab some screenshots, I, I want to kind of tease this to my, dis to my private Discord. <laughs> For like, patrons and fans, because the, the, the guys have to see this. Well, I checked with my Discord and basically every regular who was there says keep it. So, I guess this episode will not be about me tearing down the sails. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? I'll just gonna go to the sea heaven. Double check if people actually received my package and all that packages and all that kind of stuff. Just, you know... Check out the resident stuff. And also, speaking of, I have started building my own little house in there. So, yeah, might as well. Might as well do that kind of thing. Because, yeah, I'm not working on anything near this thing for now. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Alright, guys, uh, keep it, keeping it together. Deep breaths. Everything's fine. But... We have some even more die sky diking news coming up here. Check this out. Like a week ago, I started this little thing. Yeah, this this hut around here, and I and I I thought to myself, okay, this episode like, we can't do anything in the Nether. I'll just come here. I'll just come here and I'll just walk on this one instead. Uh, maybe write something to rival uh, mythical sausage with, he, with his uh, ginormous mansion. Maybe something like sick sized. But upon arriving, I noticed that not only have the sky guardians, the phantom race that I brought from 1.13 have been decapitated. Also, the entire airspace of the Sea Heaven has been compromised. By Cirque, I'm assuming, because that's the only person with the letter, letter S as his first letter of the name. Unless, of course, it's Sausage, but you know, it has to be Cirque. I know it has to be Cirque, because while the ship itself is uh, very detailed and uh, yeah, it, it looks like something you would want to sail on. The actual Zeppelin looks teeny tiny <laughs> and <laughs> and it's, it, it, it pretty much looks like a gi giant floating pill. It is a, it is, I'll give, I'll grant him that. It is a, a right form, right? Geometrical form, but at the same time, it's just teeny tiny. It's barely, it's barely the size of the actual ship. Like this thing will topple over. This thing will smash into the ground and you know, like hit half of Kane's uh, house if it does. Seriously, Sirk. Seriously, this is, this is the floating ship you are uh, you are capable of. Not a single gun. Not a gust pulling it, not even a blaze engine. This is 
embarrassment, ladies and gentlemen. This is utter embarrassment on the Die King's part. And I have to do something about it. I obviously have. I have to. We already we already taken the Hello Kitty sales from him. That's fine. I can live with the Oh my god. But this silly ship has to has something to be uh, needs something to be done with it. And in theory, I do have my sh black shulker box with all the black wool inside of it with me. So we could probably go ahead and fix this thing for him, don't you guys think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some fiddling here and there, just to show how good of a neighbor I am. After all, his mansion is right beside my glorious house, house b basement, <laughs> and his uh, his shop is right beside again my glorious house. We can deal with it. We can we can help him out. This will require some time lapsing though, so give me, a, uh, give me a moment, I'll come up with what I want to actually do with it, like how, how are we, uh, we need to figure out a, a way to fix this thing and uh, we need to figure it out stat. So let me quickly brainstorm, maybe in cr uh, creative potentially, and I'll come back with you, I'll come back for you with a glorious time lapse of me implementing just that. Sounds like a deal? Okay, with the Zeppelin part gone, the only thing suspending this stupid ship into the air is currently the pillar I used to actually get onto it. Yeah, that's obviously a bad idea because that will not last. <laughs> Something tells me that one single very long plank is not gonna do it. Uh... Yeah, we need something different to spend in it in the air, something more powerful, and I already got a couple ideas of how to put this and how to utilize this. So, yeah, let me quickly gather some material. Uh, maybe, maybe wool is not the best for this particular one, but it will have to, it, it, it will do, let's put it that way. Or at the very least it will have to do, because honestly I don't really have that much uh, cool stuff on me at the moment. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Another time lapse a bit, be right back. That's much better. See, now it's nice and supported with two giant chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, you can claim that I'm kind of reusing my own pranks there, with uh, because uh, before we actually pranked six uh, turkey van with a giant turkey. But hey, at this, at the very least, this time there's no actual bird poop lay laying around. Nope, we just turned his ship into a chicken, a flightless bird, which. Frankly, is exactly what he is. Yeah, yada yada yada. Na na na. na. <laughs> uh, this is just a. This is not 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 what you think. This is not vengeance, guys. This is not 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 a prank back. Not really. This is just a hint. Just a nod at what's to come. We'll get him back one day. I promise. But that is gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, this has been Zloy XP, this has been Decide the Vanilla. We've been pranked to freaking smithereens and we have to deal with it. But uh, before we do that, 
it will require some planning and some uh, brainstorming to prank him back at the same glorious scale. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. To be continued. Bye.